So today we will see another concept in the subject computer graphics is a 2D translation. Okay. So now let's see what are the topics that I am going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will see what exactly the 2D transformation is. Okay. Before trying to understand the translation, you need to know what exactly 2D transformation is, right? So and we will see what are the different types of the transformations. Okay, so in these different types, one of the one of the transformation is a translation, 2D translation. So in this video, I'll explain what exactly the 2D transformation is, uh, uh, translation is, and what are the types of the translations and some example problems. Okay, so let's start our video. So what is 2D transformation? First of all, tell me what is a transformation? Transformation is nothing but changing some graphics to another picture. I am trying to change the one object to another object by simply applying the rules. You can't simply change the object. You need to apply some rules on that object. So then only the, uh, the picture will get a good clarity. Suppose if you, if you take your mobile phones, you are trying to capture a uh, picture. So when, whenever you capture a picture, you are trying to apply the filters on that picture. So that the picture can be applied in different variations. So that is a translation. So you are trying to change the uh, picture to another picture by simply applying the rules. And it plays an important role in computer graphic to reposition the graphics on the screen and change their size as well as the orientation also. And one more thing, it is very important. Transformation can be applied only on already created object. Already existing object only you can apply the transformation, right or wrong? If the object is there, then you can apply the filters. If you capture the picture, then only you can apply the filters. Without capturing the picture, how can you apply the filters on where, to, who, to whom, to what you are going to apply the filters, right? So in the same way, a transformation can be applied only to the already created object. So the 2D transformation applies on the 2D dimensional plane. Okay, now coming to the different types of transformation. The different types of transformations that are used in the computer graphics nowadays are the translation, scaling, rotation, sharing and the reflection. Okay, these types of transformations can be applied on 2D objects as well as the 3D objects also. Okay, let's take N. These type of transformations can be applied on 2D objects as well as the 3D objects. So in this video, we will try to learn what exactly the translation is. That is a 2D translation, right? Okay. So what is 2D translation? A translation, first of all, what is a translation? It is a transformation technique where it moves every point by a certain distance, either in horizontal or in vertical direction. Every point, every point we are trying to move the uh, point to a certain distance. If you are moving the object, you can move the object in horizontal direction or you can move the object on vertical direction. So let's take this is a 2D plane, x, y. So this is your object somewhere else. So this is every point, 1 point, 2 point, 3, 4 points are there on the plane. A object is created. Now you, you are going to try to move every point on the screen. So this point I am moving to here and this point I am moving to here and this point here and here. So this is an object. Okay, so this is a translated object. So before translation and this is after translation. This is before and this is after translation. So did you observe here? My object position has changed. So I applied a translation technique on already created object. So this is my already created object. So I apply the translation on the created object. Okay, so it tries to change the object position from one to another. It depends on the translation factors Tx and Ty. So here these are the translation factors. You also call it as a Dx or Dy. Okay. So X is Tx is a horizontal momentum. If you are moving the object to the vertical direction, then you call it as a vertical momentum. So Ty. Let, let's take the points uh, P is the original coordinates is X comma Y. Then the new coordinates are X dash Y dash. After translation, the new coordinate x dash is equal to old coordinate plus the shift vector. Usually you call tx and ty or the shift vectors. These are the shift vectors. And y dash is equal to y plus ty. Okay. 
So now let's see the matrix form of the trans representation. X dash, Y dash are the new coordinates and X, Y are the old coordinates and DX and DY are nothing but the shift factors, shift vectors. So simply you call it as P dash. There is a new coordinates is equal to the old coordinates plus the shift vector. So this is the translation formula. Translation. So here where T is a translation factor. So this is the old coordinates and these are the new coordinates and this is a shift vector. Shift vector in X direction and shift vector in the Y direction. Horizontal and vertical. Okay, so now let's see the different types of transformations. Okay, what are the types of translation? Sorry, not the transformation, types of translation. The different types of translations are the point, line and the rectangle. So what is a point translation? Point translation, we can translate the X and Y coordinates of a given point as per the given translation factors DX and DY. So based on the translation factors, so that is the vectors DX and DY, you are going to translate your original coordinates. That is a point translation. Only two points, X coordinate and Y coordinate. And coming to the line translation, the line translation translates both the endpoints. So this is one point and this is another point. So it is trying to move the both the endpoints of a line with a given translation vector factors dx and dy and then within built, uh, built graphic functions. So we are having already built-in graphic functions. Simply applying the built-in graphic functions, here the object uh, uh, line is going to be translated. So this is the uh, this is the old coordinates and this is a new coordinates. Okay, this is the original line and this is the translated line. Now coming to the rectangle translation. The rectangle translation translates the X and Y coordinates of both given points. So this is A top. So this is A uh, top left corner and coming to this B. B is the top bottom right based on the translation uh, factors dx and dy and then draw a rectangle with inbuilt graphic functions. So with the help of inbuilt graphic functions here we are trying to draw the uh, picture. So this is the original triangle and this is the translated rectangle. Sorry, original rectangle and translated rectangle. Now let's see an example. Okay, so with this example you can get a complete clarity on how the object is going to be uh, change its position by applying the translation technique, right? So here the coordinates that is the old coordinates. Let's take P is equal to X naught comma Y naught is the old coordinate 4 comma 6. You need to find the new coordinate P dash is equal to X1 comma Y1 try to found, find out what are the new coordinates. So without changing the radius apply the translation technique with the distance. So TX they are given as a 6 and towards Y axis TY is given as a 4. So you can also call it as a DX or DY also. Now apply the translation uh, function. So P dash is equal to uh, P plus T right. So that means for x coordinates try to apply x dash is equal to x naught plus tx. So what is x naught? x naught here is a 4 and tx is a 6 you will get the 10. And what is a y dash? y dash is it is a new coordinate is equal to y naught plus ty. So what is y naught? y naught is nothing but the 6 and ty is a 4 you get 10. So what are the new coordinates? The new coordinates x1 uh, x1 y1 is nothing but 10 comma 10 okay so let me erase all these things right okay so now what is your original triangle so let's see the original triangle so this is 0 and x and this is the y so uh, what are the new uh, old coordinates the old coordinates somewhere is the 4 and this is a 6 this is your uh, image on the screen Okay, so now let's take this is before translation. Okay, so now apply after translation. Let's see how the object is look like. So this is after. So after translation, the object is y is 10 and x is 10. So this is an option. So let me show you both on single graph. x y 0 okay first original coordinates 6 
and this is somewhere 4. Okay, P is equal to X naught, Y naught. Now coming to the next one. This is 10 somewhere here and this is 10 somewhere here. This is after translation. Let's take Q, X1, Y1. Right? So this is before translation and after translation. See the variation of the picture. This is the size the varied the object. So this is a 2D translation. I hope you understand what exactly the 2D translation is. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.